keto flu, word that gets thrown around whenever somebody doesn't feel well on keto. Technically, it's intended to describe the time where people go from the standard American diet or a high carbohydrate diet to a low carbohydrate diet. And it is the transition of your body switching from a glucose based fuel system to a ketone based fuel system. This transition does not feel well. And in the process of dropping those glucose molecules as an energy source, the time it takes to raise ketones is a variability that can take 12 hours in some healthy people and can take over a week in some of my very insulin resistant patients. That transition hurts, it doesn't feel well. And as they're transitioning, they're losing water. The removal of water is accompanied by a bunch of removal of electrolytes. And between the change in fuel, the lack of electrolytes, and the massive drop in water circulating, they feel like the flu. They feel like a headache. I don't feel good. My tummy hurts. I don't have any energy. And that is the real keto flu. The antidote is usually salt and water. It is not to add in a bunch of carbs. I need you to get through this transition. So it is to stay the course, but any way you can get quicker to the other side is helpful. So in my very insulin resistant patients, I tell them to swallow ketones. The keto flu is shortened by adding ketones to circulation. If you're healthy, your body's gonna make them within 12 to 36 hours of this transition. But if you're severely insulin resistant, you may need to drink some ketones to shorten this uncomfortable flu-like symptoms. Although I don't want you on ketones forever, it is a wonderful way for my insulin resistant patients to be able to get through this yucky phase of a keto transition and on their way to a lifetime of better health.